how to navigate to a particular folder if you are using the command line or the terminal window in either Windows or Mac OS. Now you don't need to know too much about how to use the command line, but you do need to understand how you can navigate to a particular folder so that when you want to execute particular code or if you want to start a Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab server, you know how to make sure that you do that in the right folder. This requires you to switch folders using the command line or terminal interface. Doing so is mostly the same between Windows and Mac OS, but I will demonstrate to you how it will work using the Windows operating system. The way that it works is the first step, you'll have to open up a command line or terminal window. There's a separate recording how to do this. I've already gone ahead and done this on Windows where I open up the Endaconda prompt. Now I am presented with a window that looks something like this. The first thing to note is that if we type something, you can see that that shows up after this initial piece of text that doesn't change. This initial piece of text gives us a little bit of information as to uh, one, the Python installation that we're running. Um, you don't have to concern yourself with this at this point. And more importantly, it will show you what the current working directory is that you're executing commands in. So in this case, I am in C users slash T server V2. Now, if I were to run a Python file and I type something along the lines of Python file.py, what is going to happen is Python is going to look for a file called file.py in the folder C users T server V2. Now, it might be that the Python file that you want to run is not located in this particular folder. Now, what we could do is we could specify that entire path after Python, but better is to navigate to that particular folder, set that as your working directory, and then Python will automatically look in that same folder. It's the same as opening up your Explorer window and just clicking on the folder that you would like to open, but it's programmatically using the command line or terminal interface. The way that we do this is by using the CD command. And the CD command is very simple. You type CD, CD stands for change directory. And then you type the path that you would like the terminal or command prompt window to change to. Now you can type this out. For example, I can type CDC with a slash. And what that will do, it realizes that I would like to switch to the folder C and then it does that and then we're good to go. Trying to remember what these paths exactly are can be pretty tedious. An easier way, and you can do this on a variety of operating systems, although it's slightly different, but if you're on Windows, then you can just go to the folder that you would like to open using your favorite file explorer. For example, here I have a folder called Limburg Python Master that's located on the F drive. And then I open that up, and then if I double click on the top here, it becomes selectable and I can just select that entire path and then I can click Control C to copy it, go into the prompt window and either click Control C or do right click depending on the operating system that you're using. So in this case, I clicked right click. Now I have the path right here. And then if I were to put CD in front of that, it will move to that folder. Now one word of warning, you do need to make sure that there's no spaces in that path Otherwise, running it this way will throw an error because it doesn't know where the path ends. If you want to solve this, if you do have a path that has certain spaces in it, you can wrap your path in apostrophes. So in this case, if I were to do this, I wrap it in apostrophes, and then it will know that this entire string here is my path, even if there were to be any spaces in it. Then I click enter. And as you can see, in this case, um, you can double check to see whether it worked by checking here, whether actually it represents the folder that you would like to switch to. Now, in this case, you can see that I ran this command, but it did not actually change. The reason for this is that on Windows, there's a little bit of a quirky thing where you also need to tell it that it's okay to switch to a different drive. Right now we're located on the C drive, but the folder that we would like to move to is located on the F drive. So we need to tell it as well that it's okay to move to that different drive. And the way we do that is by simply typing the letter of the drive and then colon. So in this case, we type F colon, 
we click enter and now it realizes that it's okay to move to the different folder and here we see that we are now located in f limburg python master now after we've switched to the correct directory and we can tell that the terminal window or the command prompt illustrates us or tells us that we're in the current folder by showing it right here then we can type either dir dir if we're on windows or ls if you are on um, Mac OS or Linux to show the folder contents and we can use this as a double check to make sure they're in the right folder I'm on Windows so I type dir and that will tell me the exact location or the exact contents of whatever is currently in that folder